Hi everyone, so today we are going to continue to discuss about Taylor series. Okay, you, you learn Taylor series in chapter 1 as you study numerical methods. Okay, let's look at um, the definition of Taylor theorem or Taylor series. The Taylor theorem says that If you have a function that exists on an interval a, b for x in every of that interval, there is exists a number sign between x0 and x with fx equals to dnx plus rnx. Okay, where Pn is given by f of x0 plus f prime x0, x minus x0 plus f double prime x0, x minus x0 squared plus, you can go on, plus f any x naught over any factorial x minus x naught to the power of n where i can write all this in the summation k from 0 to n f k x naught over k factorial x minus x naught to the power k Okay, and uh, we can say, we can say the reminder, okay, so like I say, this is the, this is the polynomial, this is the remainder. Okay, the remainder is given by Rnx equals to f of n plus 1. Xi x over n plus 1 factorial x minus x naught n plus 1. So we say the pn is the nth Taylor polynomial for x about x naught and this remainder term is also known as the truncation error. Okay, Taylor series or Taylor theorem. The Taylor theorem is important to find the approximation of the solution to a differential equation that difficult to solve. Okay, let's let's look at one example here. So we have I want to find the Taylor polynomial. Find the and Taylor series of fx equals to exponent x at x not equals to zero. Show your series up to be for x okay so this is example the first example okay so we want to find for this function at x not equals to zero when x not equals to zero we also have my Lorentz series okay and it this question asks us to find up to polynomial degree 4. Okay, so we can do this one by one. Okay, first start with, okay, we know the function fx equals to ex. So, to find p, I want to find p4, right? So, what we do here, we need to find p4 x equals to 
and root x naught plus f prime x naught x minus x naught plus f double prime x naught over 2 factorial x minus x naught squared plus f3 over x naught over 3 factorial x minus x naught cube plus f to the power 4 x naught over 4 factorial x minus x naught x minus x naught power 4 okay so this is what we want to find okay this is what we want to find and just take note there let me just um, highlight it i'll take the point in case okay what we want to know here up to here this is only p1 and then from here to here we have p2 and the whole thing up to from here to here we have p3 and the everything is p4 okay so i can i can i can do this i can do this p1 x equals to f of x naught plus f prime x naught x minus x naught p2 x equals to f of x naught plus f prime x naught x minus x naught plus f double prime x naught x minus x naught squared then p3 x is f of x naught plus f prime x naught x minus x naught plus f double prime x naught x minus x naught squared plus f3 so i think you know you know what i'm saying right why are we doing this actually we don't have to do this okay but um just wanna uh tell you the uh what does one two and three mean okay so so and then, uh, obviously p4 will be up to the fourth power okay so to continue solving this what we need to do we need to find the derivative of all the given function okay since we are given f of x equals to exponent x okay so we know that this function here when you do differentiate it will still give you exponent x if i differentiate twice it still give me exponent x if i differentiate three twice it still give me exponent x and even if i differentiate for the fourth time it will still give me exponent x okay so when i substitute my x naught is zero so i have e to the power zero which is one this is also one this is also one this is also one and we can see the pattern here it's one okay so i can actually substitute my um, solution in this given field. Okay, I can write it here so you can see that p1 here gives me m of x0 is 1. Here you go. 1 plus what's this? f prime x0. 1. 1. x minus x0 is 0. So x. Okay. Now for this one, 1 plus x plus 
f double prime is also 1 x minus 0 is 2. There is a 2 factorial here. Okay. There is a 2 factorial in this about the line. Okay, and for this one, we have 1 plus x plus x2 over 2 factorial plus x3 over 2 factorial. Okay, so the question says find up to P4, polynomial 4 degrees. So we have P4x is given by 1 plus x plus x2 over 2 factorial plus x3 over 2 factorial plus x4 over 4 factorial. So this is the polynomial for degree. So the approximate error is given by Ex minus Pmx. Remember I have told you earlier on the approximate error is also the Rn where the Rnx is given by f of x minus p n x this is also the truncation error or you also call it the remainder remainder term or truncation error okay so for this uh, function exponent Okay, my Rn is given by exponent x minus with the Pn. Okay, Pn. So if this is P4, okay, plus the data summation, uh, k equals to 0. Uh, maybe I'll just write it um, in a uh, proper term here because this is P4. Okay, so to find Pn, okay, let's look here. To find Pn, okay, so we have a summation, okay, summation, oops, this one, okay, summation, k equals to 0 to n, xk over k factorial okay so this is uh this is for pn x so i can i can simplify this okay because uh, usually we want to find the rn the remainder is given by let me just write it here remainder x is given by f of n plus 1 psi x which is a number from a to b over n plus 1 factorial x minus x naught n plus 1 okay so this is this whole thing is my rn so e x exponent x minus p n x which is given by laptop is getting slower nowadays. Okay, so we have we have the function x n plus one over n plus one factorial. This is the psi x here will be exponent psi x where my n cannot be equals to 0 okay and psi is from 0 to x okay so this is the remainder term for the Taylor series polynomial that's all for today